The Jacob Series, Story Number Four, Esau's Blessing, taken from Genesis chapter twenty-seven, verses thirty through thirty-eight. This story contains the final painful scene of the previous story. Jacob had just left his father's presence after deceiving him and gaining the patriarchal blessing his mother desperately wanted for Jacob. It is interesting to note that although the blessing came through an act of deception, Isaac says the blessing is irreversible. Apparently, once the blessing was given, it could not be taken back. When Esau pleads with his father for his own blessing. What he really receives is a curse. A curse is simply the removal of a blessing. Here, as with the blessing, Isaac's words to Esau are prophetic, and the impact of this story will last for generations. And so the story continues. Immediately after Isaac finished blessing Jacob. In fact, Jacob had just left his father's presence when his brother Esau came in from hunting. Esau also prepared some delicious food and brought it to his father. And Esau said to Isaac, "Get up, father, eat your son's wild game, and then you may bless me." But Isaac, his father, asked him, "Who are you?" And Esau said, <laughs> I'm your son, your firstborn son, Esau. Then Isaac began to shake uncontrollably and asked, "Then, who was it that hunted game already and brought it to me? I ate all of it before you came, and I have already blessed him. Yes, and he shall be blessed." When Esau heard the words of his father, he cried out with a loud and bitter cry. And Esau said to his father, "Oh, my father, bless me, bless me too." But Isaac said, "Your brother came deceitfully, and he has taken away your blessing." And Esau said, "Isn't he just like his name, Jacob?" The deceiver. He has now cheated me twice. First he stole my birthright, and look, now he has stolen my blessing. And Esau said, "Haven't you kept back at least one blessing for me?" And Isaac answered Esau and said, "Look, I have made him lord over you." And given the entire household to him to be his servants, I have provided him with with grain and wine. What can I possibly do for you, my son? But Esau said to his father, "Surely you have more than one blessing, father. I beg you, bless me, bless me too, father." And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Then Isaac, his father, answered Esau and said, "Listen, for you will live far removed from the abundance of the earth, and removed from the dew of heaven on high. You will live by your sword, and serve your brother. But when you grow old and restless, you will break his yoke from off your neck." The Jacob series. Story number four, Esau's blessing, taken from Genesis chapter twenty-seven, verses thirty through thirty-eight.